<laughs> okay, great. You're all here. My name is Baron, and this is Arin. You're joining us in Life in Fact React. In this episode, we will be checking out dog videos. And here's Oscar, the poodle in his gorgeous charcoal colored coat. Oh, so cute! So adorable, right? Wait, that dog is way too playful. What is he even up to now? Oh, he's really tearing into that soft toy, isn't he? Can we see that in slow motion? Who wants to see that in slow motion? Sure, let's set that up in slow motion. And just look at the details in there. I do not want to be that toy, okay? Well, take it easy, guys. In this episode, we're going to show you how to create your own reaction videos. Here's something for you to react to. Here's the opening title. Reaction videos are all the rage nowadays. Entire YouTube channels have been dedicated to this genre of content creation. Reaction videos range from categories like food, gadgets, toys, and my personal favorite, adorable pets. Making a reaction video is fun and it's easy to make them. If you have the right app, in this episode, we're going to show you the fastest way to make a reaction video without editing. All you need is your computer or a laptop with a webcam and uni converter. There are two basic elements that make up a reaction video. They are you and the video you're reacting to, displayed as a picture-in-picture. -picture. We'll show you how to do this in five really easy steps. Download and install Uni Converter from Wondershare. This is the glue that we'll use to assemble your reaction video. On the left are the modules that come with Uni Converter. Most of them I've already covered in previous episodes. The first step is to set up the clip you'll be reacting to. Open the video and reposition it on your screen. Leave it in the background. Next, will set up your screen and your reaction video's layout. So go to the Screen Recorder module, click on the Camera Options and select Screen Recorder. Select Full Screen to capture your entire computer screen. Make sure your system audio is enabled so it can record the sound coming from the video that you are reacting to. Turn on your microphone by clicking on a microphone icon and select an option. If you have no external mics attached, just choose built-in and then we will put you up there on the screen. That's easily done by accessing your webcam. Select your webcam settings here or choose a camera that's already connected to your computer. Set up how large you want your profile to be and where you want your video to go. Here's a little trick. You can adjust your webcam profile on the fly. You can reposition and resize both your profile and your video anytime one recording is ongoing. And the last step would be to play the video, record your screen, and begin your reaction. Click on the record button when you're ready. Remember the video that we had in the background? Let's play it now. Here we go. So check this out guys. We have a kitten here and she's so cute. She's got this really Big blue eyes. Now that's a brand new reaction video completed. Now wasn't that super fast and easy? As promised, you didn't need to do any video editing. Select the location folder and as you can see, your reaction video is ready for uploading to social media as it is. Here we go. So since we've completed all the steps in record time, Step 6 is a, is a bonus. bonus! Enter the video editor module and click Trim. I'll locate the completed reaction video and show you how you can trim parts of it. Use the red playhead to scroll to a place you want to trim away. Click on the scissor icon, select the unwanted clip and press the trash icon to delete. 
What I'm doing here is trimming down the ending part of my video. Drag the playhead, click on the scissor, press trash. By trimming, you can remove unwanted parts of your video or simply shorten it. You know what? We'll throw in another bonus. Let's add watermark to your reaction video before we upload. And we're still in the video editor module. I'll click on the settings icon, select the watermark tab and choose a logo. In the image below, you can adjust your logo size and reposition it. When you're happy with the final look of your reaction video, it's time to output your video. Click on the gear icon and under the video tab, choose MP4 and same as source for the best quality output. Lastly, click save to export an individual clip or start all to export every clip on the list. Here's how the video clip looks like with the watermark. And you're ready to upload your exciting new reaction video to YouTube or social media. I hope this has been a really fun session for you. We hope you have lots of fun making reaction videos from scratch with UniConverter. See you all in the next episode. Happy UniConverting! <laughs>